Hello viewers, welcome back to my technology channel on YouTube GTech. This video is about a hard disk upgrade that I am doing to my computer, uh, which I use for developmental purposes as well as uh, some small time video editing. So uh, this computer rig was uh, built about three, three and a half years back and it has an i7 6th uh, generation processor with about 16 GB of uh, DDR4 memory and uh, at that time I had installed a 120 GB uh, NVMe SSD <coughs> NVMe SSD okay so uh, to be precise it was uh, yeah, I think it is a Samsung uh, SM951 120 GB SSD NVMe SSD so uh, Storage was a bottleneck for many of my purposes because I also use it for uh, uh, web application development and Android uh, development and of course uh, also video editing purposes. So uh, storage had become a bottleneck and I was uh, uh, actually compensating it with by using an external drive etc etc. So now uh, finally uh, I am upgrading the uh, drive, hard disk drive. So, uh, I did some research and uh, looked into a lot of specifications and uh, articles on the net and I found that uh, one drive was recommended by a um, lot of people so uh, this is the one so XPG S11 Pro uh, is the NVMe SSD that I am upgrading my computer to right now it's a 500 and, uh, 512 GB drive so uh, it, it, it is supposed to have some very good specs like for example it has uh, a sequential read of about uh, 3000 mbps and uh, sequen sequential write speed of um, about 2500 2, mbps so a lot of other uh, specs like uh, 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 one, one other very important aspect is it comes with a heat sink so uh, for better heat dissipation because uh, like many of you know that SSDs uh, oh, what do you call NVMe SSDs become uh, uh, really warm really hot so if you don't have proper uh, cooling uh, in your computer it might get very hot so uh, uh, here is mm, I'm, I'm just unboxing it you can see here mm. So this is the drive. Actually speaking, uh, I need to wear an anti-static anti band in order to uh, what do you call use this or say install this. So that is the uh, what do you call mm, best practice. But still, I have uh, what do you call um, neutralized myself by touching into metal objects such as the window. Uh, metal etc anyways uh, this is the drive like you can see here this is the heat sink here can you see it so it's so small say so if uh, this is my four finger it's hardly about one and a half centimeters in width and so small and uh, you, even uh, you get two TB drives which are as small as this okay so uh, I will install it on my computer and after installation I will show you uh, the benchmarks by using some tools uh, whether we are really getting that speed uh, or not so that is the main purpose of this video other than that I'm also going to do the next video which is also very interesting so for which uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, what do you call NVMe SSD that I'm uh, uh, removing from my existing computer so I am going to uh, make an external drive out of that so 120 GB external uh, drive. so for which I have purchased a casing so uh, with this casing I will be uh, building that so that will be once again a very interesting uh, this thing because uh, after installation it is supposed to get uh, give around 900 
mbps read write uh, speed which is very very high for a uh, external drive so of course like you need to have uh, uh, usb 3.1 second generation on your computer interface in order to get that speed but still uh, that is a theoretical possibility so now let's uh, let me uh, install it on my computer and show you the result so uh, here is the rig that i i was talking about uh, you can see here mm. so uh, there was a mistake actually so it's not samsung uh, uh, sm951 drive that i have here but a samsung 960e vivo 250 gb uh, nvme ssd that i have here you can see uh, here okay so i have a 250 gb samsung 960 ev go nvme ssd so i'm going to replace this by a 500 uh, 512 gb um, xpga s11 pro uh, actually 960 ev go itself is a very very good drive so uh, i think uh, if i remember correctly it was giving me about uh, 2500 uh, mbps uh, sequential read and about 2000 mbps sequential write so <clears throat> overall uh, the computer is not going to be uh, much faster or something like that but i would be getting the extra gbs that i require most likely the plan is i would be uh, having a dual boot system currently i have a linux system here so it's a uh, I have uh, the Linux mint flavor on my machine so I will be now replacing I think I have version 16 or 17 I don't remember correctly so I will be replacing that with the current uh, version of Linux mint that is version 20 and uh, I have a, a Windows 8.1 license so probably I will be using that the reason being so certain a software that I intend to purchase with respect to video editing they don't work on uh, Linux system so for that purpose and a few other software related to robotics like uh, uh, they have uh, some certain compatible issue issues with uh, Linux so uh, only for those software uh, um, I will be having a Windows operating system on this computer so uh, let's uh, uh, let's try it so I will uh, just remove the drive and replace it uh, with the new drive so carefully remove this okay so you can see here Samsung 960 EVO. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Actually, uh, be, uh, this is the graphics card that I use here, use on this machine. Uh, since actually there was no place. Uh, to remove the uh, hard disk so I just remove that and uh, so now I will replace the new this thing ok done I need to put the screw a little bit tricky
So it's done. You can see the inside now. So that's it. So I just need to replace the graphics card and start. So uh, I have put together the computer. So I have uh, reassembled it. Uh, then I have installed uh, a Windows 8 license that I had and I have also installed the latest version of uh, Linux Mint that is version 20 so it's a dual boot system now so I have booted uh, uh, Windows 8 and I just installed this software Crystal Disk Mark to actually um, uh, look into the benchmarks so it's uh, used by many people so uh, here are the results like uh, you can see here so as you can see uh, many of them talk about uh, the sequential read and sequential write so I'm getting about 3494 MB per second that is the sequential read and sequential write I'm getting 2517 Mbps so which, which is quite good and uh, it is uh, as claimed by the manufacturer that is XPG so that's all about this video I hope uh, it helps you in making a decision when it comes to upgrading your uh, uh, upgrading hard disk on your computer or, uh, or your laptop so uh, please uh, like this video if you find it informative and also subscribe to my to my channel if you are looking forward to uh, know about other videos that I'm uh, releasing shortly. So uh, the next video that definitely you should not miss is about uh, the external drive that I'm going to external drive that I'm going to make using uh, uh, the remote uh, NVMe drive so for this actually I have uh, also brought the enclosure so Worico yeah Worico is the name of the company so you can see here so this is going to go inside and we will also uh, test it by using the benchmark so please await for this video also thank you